All right, folks, today we are at Sand Hill Preserve. And as you can see, it's just got a simple uh, improved parking lot made of sand and shell. Uh, the trail here is supposed to be about a mile, just a loop. So uh, we'll see what we can see today. Considering it's a loop trail, it's going to be a little bit difficult to get lost, but they do have markers up for you, just to be sure. So far, I've been hiking through this uh, little bit of hardwood area here. Now, this park is called Sand Hill Preserve because it's supposed to. Uh, preserve a endangered habitat here in Central Florida and that is the Sand Hill uh, habitat. You'll notice that the trail itself is made of sand that's actually the real soil that exists here um, but you'll see that there's a lot of larger oaks in here and um, those are technically invasive in this habitat. What you should see is a lot of longleaf pines, maybe a few of the smaller uh, turkey oaks, um, and then not a lot of uh, ground cover. Uh, however, it looks like fire was not introduced to this area for a long time or suppressed in this area for a long time. And so, these hardwood species were able to encroach on the area and turn it into more of a dry hammock or an oak hammock. All right, we've come to the fork in the path. As you can see, it is clearly marked. You can head out that way into those woods, or you can keep going this way into these woods. Little unfortunate. I took the right hand side. And as you can see, the trail just runs you up against the road here. So, that's fun. Once you get away from the highway, make this turn past these properties over here. There's actually a bit of an uphill climb. I, no, you can't really see it, but I am going up a slight grade. I don't know what the hell I just heard. It sounded like it could have been a hawk, but it could also have just been a blue jay. If you're not aware, blue jays are in the mockingbird family and they mimic hawk calls particularly the red-shouldered. That sounded like a red tail if it was a hawk. But it's too dense. I can't see anything over here. It was at this point that I came across this property. I'm leaving, I'm leaving. There's a little bit of a fork here. Trail kind of goes off that way, but as you can see, they've clearly marked it for you. So you don't have to worry about which direction you need to be headed. I wouldn't head out that way anyways. Uh, it probably just dead ends at the road, at the other end of the property. I'm still kind of at the back of the property right through here. So um, 
yeah, no reason to go out that way. Um, I'm still not seeing any um, sand hill habitat. I did find a bench. If you want to take a break through here. But that's it, actually. This little bit of trail through these. Something back there. This little bit of trail here. We're coming back up to the fork right here. This is the fork. So, yeah, not very long once you turn back this way. And so now we just walk straight back to the parking lot. All in all, not a bad little trail to start, but once you get out to the roadway and then back along the back of the property, it's not very nice passing through next to people's yards. And I don't like passing next to roads at all. It's not, it doesn't make you feel like you're out in nature or anything, so. Nice place to come and get a quick little mile in, I guess, but uh, not really my kind of hike. And there you are. We are home. Well, back to the parking lot. <laughs>